Hey, how's it going? Good to see you again. My name is John Cordray and I'm a licensed counselor and I would love it for you to subscribe to this channel. I'm at a hotel, beautiful hotel. I love this really, really pretty hotel. And a uh, long drive, I drove all day to, actually my conference is in Detroit, Michigan area. And it really got me thinking uh, as I was driving here, um, how it must be terrifying for people with anxiety. In fact, I know it's terrifying because I've talked to so many people when they have to get out of their comfort zone, when they're, whether it's a family vacation or a business trip, anything that gets them out of their normal routine, the anxiety is so overwhelming, so scary. And it got me to thinking, man, how hard that must be and how courageous you must be for facing your anxiety. Now, I know you're probably thinking courageous. That's the last thing that I would call myself. But think about it. Think about this. If you have anxiety, especially anxiety about going places, meeting people, and whether it's at a restaurant or a conference or some other thing that you have to do that's out of your normal routine and you have anxiety and you're fearful of meeting people, but you do it anyway, that's courageous. That takes courage to face your anxiety. And I think you're some of the most courageous people that I know. Because people who struggle with social anxiety or a phobia of some, of some uh, form, and yet you do it anyway, and it's not the fear that makes you, um, makes you small or inferior. You think it does. But when you go in front and face your fear, face your anxiety, and you do it anyway, that takes courage. And you have a lot of courage, my friend, more courage than you realize. If you are able to go to school, go to work, meet people throughout your day, even though you have anxiety, that takes courage. So I think you're very, very courageous. And I would, I would love to know some of the stories that you have done. Uh, or, or not, not stories that you've done. <laughs> no, uh, stories that you have lived. Uh, tell me some things that you have done. What are some things that you have done? Even though your anxiety was screaming, saying, no, don't do this. But you did it anyway. You, you, you faced your fear. You were courageous. And tell me what happened. So tell me your story. Tell me, um, maybe you had a lot of anxiety about going to a conference, but you did it anyway. And now you can look back on it and say, I did that. And so that's the whole point of this video. Uh, it's not necessarily instructional how to, but more of, wow, you're a lot stronger than you really think you are. You're courageous because you get up every single day, even though your, your anxiety is preventing you from doing things, but you still get up and you still get out and still meet people and still carry out your life, even though you have this anxiety. And I just really wanted to um, let you know uh, that I think you're very courageous and you're not weak like you might think you are. And I think so often people with, with anxiety or depression or really any mental health issue. I think so often that they tend, you, you tend to label yourself, right? You tend to label yourself and then you put yourself in this class all by yourself and, and you look at everybody else and they seem to have all their life together and you look at your life and say, well, I can't do that. So I'm over here, I'm a, a second class citizen. and. 
you know, that's just part of um, really a, a video that I just that I did on uh, anxiety is a liar. And it's when you give in to those lies is when you start thinking there's something wrong with you. And I really wanted to do this video and say these exact opposite. Sure, you might struggle with anxiety. Yeah, you might have some depression. But that's not who you are. It's what you struggle with. It's, it, it's it, what defines you is, is you being able to do things even though you struggle, even though you have the anxiety, you're still able to do it. You are able to get courage. See, courage is not an absence of fear. Courage is f being afraid, but doing it anyway. And you're doing it every single day. You're doing it. And so don't forget that. And so I hope this has been encouraging to you. And, and you know, if you're not already subscribing to me, to this channel, please do that. Because I want you to have access to a wealth, a library, if you will, uh, that I believe is going to help you. It's going to encourage you and motivate you and make you do things that you thought you never could do and, and come up with new ideas to be able to live and hopefully one day beat this anxiety, to reduce the anxiety where you, you just don't even know it's there. Or you know it's there, but you're not letting it get in the way. And so that's what my, my passion, my heart, is to be able to have my YouTube channel help many people all over the world. And I hope it's helped you some. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and that little bell. If you're already subscribed, there's a bell there and you'll get a, if you click on it, a notification every time I release a new video. And I'm releasing these videos because I know you need this. You need this encouragement. And as someone who is a licensed counselor, I think that holds a little bit more weight than just anybody because this is what I do. And so I really want you to be a part of a community like my Facebook. No, this isn't Facebook. Bleep that. YouTube. <laughs> oh. See what happens when I go away for a conference? I get all flustered. <laughs> um, so I want you to be a part of this YouTube community because it is going to help you and encourage you. And so if this has been encouragement to you, thank you. I'm, I'm so honored that you're a part of this. Uh, also, if you like the video, it really helps me um, because my goal is to help as many people as I can and I need your help to do it. <sighs> Long-winded today. Thank you again for watching and for being a part of my journey as I grow my YouTube channel. I'm a part of your journey. I need you to be able to make comments so I can comment back. Let me know how things are going. Tell me what are some things that you have faced and, and being, have been courageous to face your anxiety. I wanna know. All right, I gotta go get some rest, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, I really appreciate you and uh, let me know if this has been helpful. All right, guys, until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.